Good afternoon. I just want to talk today about Derek, the way. What is the true way of Hashem? Is it the way of the Hasidim? The youngest sect of Judaism that's only been around for 300 years? Is it the way of the Breslov? Is it the way of the Satmar, the Babav, the Chabad? I hear all these things talked about the way of this rabbi said this, this rabbi said that, and nobody's talking the Derek Ha Hashim. What's Hashim want? If we already had it figured out, then why isn't the Mashiach here? Why is there no temple? If everybody was doing it right, if all these sects were doing it right, then why, why, why are we still in the diaspora? Why are all these things? Obviously, to me, change needs to come. And that change means we need to get back to the old, back to the Derek Ha Hashim. You know? Again, that's why I always talk about religious. Religion's good in a way. It, 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 maybe some of us need that, that setting. Um, but one thing about religion, it forces you to believe their way, because if you don't believe in this sex way, they kick you out. If you don't believe in this sex way, they kick you out. You have to believe exactly the way they, they do. You have no choice. It's, it's their interpretation, and that's what it is, interpretation. And what is Hashem? When we read the Torah, when you, when you, when you take the commentary out, when you strip it down, you read the Torah, Hashem gives us a choice. You can do His way. You can do the way of the world. You know, so I guess it boils down to, do we want to be religious and pick our sect or stream that's going to go tell everybody else they don't count? Or, or are we going to do it Hashem's way? I got a feeling uh, Hashem's waiting on those righteous ones to, that's got the chutzpah to stand up, not disrespectfully to our, the ways it's been done in past and to our elders, not at all. But we can respectfully challenge and question everything. If you go to a shul, if you don't go to a shul, if you don't live in an area, whatever, you should question these rabbis and these authorities on everything because if they're doing it right, where's the temple? Where's the true Sanhedrin? Where's the Derek HaHashem? It's just my thoughts. And I think we should, uh, I'm one of those that I'm going to question everything. I have my whole life and I'm not going to stop now. I want the truth and of everything. I don't care about religion. God tells us to do these things. He said, oh, be obedient, don't be religious. This is what we got to get back to. We have to start seeing each other as one people and unite. On what unites us, then we can begin healing. We can begun, begin coming back as one people again. Until we do that, we got to, you know, start somewhere, but question these things. I was listening to a, a brother the other day, and he didn't even say anything that controversial, but people in his sect and stream of Judaism were, oh, you can't say that. Why? If you can't question anything, I definitely don't want to be a part of something I can't question. Because a lot of these, a lot of things are good intentions that turned out not so well, and, you know, like, you know, some things, you know, we, if we disagree with things, thank God there's, you know, Rabbis coming up now that are questioning things. You know, they're not the most popular, but if we look at the world today, the most popular thing isn't what's right. Truth is usually found in the minority.